hello everyone welcome to guide game c tutorials in this video we are going to talk about the variables in brief so before going to start uh, let me tell you that basically variables are of two types the first one is the user defined variables and the second one is the predefined variables that is defined by the scilab so if you want to use the predefined variables then there is no need to define such variables so let us first start with the user defined variables so it's a very simple like if i want to define a variable x and i want to assign value of phi to that variable so in scilab i have to just first type the x then equal and type the value that is the phi and press enter so here in the variable browser you can see here first the name of the variable that is x then its value that I have defined that is 5 and its type so by default it will take double so this is about all about the user defined variable so it's very simple that you have to just type the name of the variable then assign a value to that variable and there may be another case that I have defined another variable y equals to 2 so here the value of y is 2 and the name of variable is y. I can define a variable in such a way that z equals to x minus y and press enter. So here I have defined the variable z with the help of two variables x and y by using the mathematical operator subtract. So this is another way to define the variables that is the user defined variables. Now there are other predefined variables that are very interesting in the scilabs so now let us go to the predefined variables so here on the screen you can see that there are certain predefined variable so first one is the Euler number and that is predefined variable and we can invoke that variable by using the percentage sign so if we have to use the Euler number then we have to press or we have to type the percentage e so it will assign the value to that variable that is 2.718 the another one is the pi and if we want to use it then we have to use the percentage pi and it will assign the value that is 3.14 similarly the next one is the percentage i that is the imaginary unit now we will see all these predefined variables one by one with its example so here these are the list of the predefined variables now let us move to the first predefined variable that is Euler number. So if I want to know the value of the Euler number then first let us type percentage e and press enter. So here you can see that it has given the value of 2.718. So in any operation if I want to use the Euler number then I can use it like a equals to percentage of Euler number to the power of 2 plus 3 then it will give me the value of that and I don't need to define the variable Euler number similarly it's for pi and I know we know the value of the pi is 3.14 so if I want to find out the perimeter of the circle having the radius of 5 so let us take the p as a variable that is perimeter and we have a circle of radius 5 meter so if you want to find out the perimeter of the circle that we can type that p equals to percentage of pi multiply by the diameter and here the diameter is 5 meter so type 5 and press the enter so it will give us 15.707963 that is the perimeter of the circle now the third predefined variable is i that is the imaginary number so first let us check that we know that the square of i is minus 1 so we simply here type that square of percentage i and that will give us the value of minus 1 so if I define a variable like that I'll say w is equals to 2 times percentage of 5 and now 
press enter now what we'll do is that we will make the square of w and that will give us the value of minus 4 as we know so the percentage i is used when you define or when you give the complex variable now the fourth one is the infinity and its syntax is percentage of infinity so let us say that i i want to give the value of r as infinity so what i have to do is that r equals to percentage of infinity and press here enter so here you can know that here the variable is r and its value is here infinity so how can we check that so let us take simple do one operation that is let us take 4 divided by r and press the enter so it will give us the value of 0 because r 4 divided by r that is the 4 divided by infinity and that is equals to 0 now we will move to the fifth variable and that is the boolean variable for the false so this we will do by an example uh, now suppose we take that y equals to 5 now uh, what we do is that we will type a sentence and now the side lab will give us answer that is that sentence is true or false now suppose here that y equals to 5 so what we will do is that we will say that y is greater than 3 and that is equals to true so what we are saying that y is greater than 3 is equals to true so we are saying that y that is 5 so 5 is greater than 3 and we are saying that it is true and just press enter so here we know that this sentence is true so in return silab will give us true that is capital T but if I say that y is greater than 3 or I am sorry let us type that y is less than of 3 and equals equals and that is true so what we are doing that we are saying that 5 is less than 3 and it is true but in actual it is false so if we write this sentence and press enter then the silent will give us the variable f so it, it says that the sentence that we have written that y is less than 3 that is true but actual this sentence is false so same we can do with false variable also and now the last variable is the none or percentage nan so basically that uh, I have uh, we can say that the variables can be number or it can be a just like a alphabet so if I say that the D equals to percentage of NN that is D is not a number so basically NN is abbreviated as not a number and I have written that D equals to percentage of NN and just press enter so here in the variable browser you can see that here there is a d and the value of d is an n that i have defined that the variable d that is not a number like it can be other than the numbers so this is all about the variables that are the user defined variables and predefined variables hope you enjoyed the tutorial for more videos on scilab tutorials subscribe to my channel catkmc tutorials thanks